One of your New Year's resolutions might be to lose weight by changing your diet. One of the big fad diets right now is going gluten-free. But if you have celiac disease, eliminating gluten from your diet isn't a fad. It could be life or death. It's estimated that 85% of Americans who have celiac disease are undiagnosed or misdiagnosed with other conditions. Dr. Lily Tran of Advanced Gastroenterology and Surgery Associates explains that a gluten-free diet is the only known treatment for celiac disease. Celiac um, sprue um, disease is a, actually is an autoimmune condition where the body essentially in layman term causes antibodies that um, uh, will not allow the GI or the small bowel to absorb wheat products. Now, if you go into your cabinet, uh, pan food pantry, and you look on the box, uh, uh, um, uh, wheat is very prevalent. It's used in binding agent, it's used in many things that we eat, um, and people are not suspecting that. Now, the reason why celiac sprue disease is becoming more commonly known is because of the awareness in diagnosing the condition. Gluten is wheat product. The body has antibodies. And the antibody causes the small bowel, to, the hairline in the small bowel to be blunted. And so when it fights against the gluten product, it causes the absorptive surface of the small bowel to be decreased. So therefore then patients cannot absorb these products and then they have symptoms. Symptoms then include things such as bloating, uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and because the small bowel is very important for absorbing products such as iron, minerals such as B12 and so forth, and patients will then become um, um, iron deficient and they will develop anemia and weight loss because they can't absorb well. This is genetically, uh, genetically inclined. Um, now, patients will come to our office and say, well, you know, Dr. Tran and I have been on a gluten-free diet and I feel much better. That I would say to them, well, if this makes you feel better, then this is something that you can stay on. But to be gluten-free, strictly gluten-free diet is very difficult. Even the um, supermarkets these days actually are becoming aware of these conditions so they have more of the gluten-free products um, that are, are readily available for people to buy. According to the National Foundation for Celiac Awareness, approximately 3 million Americans across all ages, races, and genders suffer from celiac disease. And Dr. Tran also notes that celiac disease can lead to a number of other disorders, including infertility, reduced bone density, neurological disorders, some cancers, and other autoimmune diseases. For more information on the treatments and surgical procedures available at AGSA, please click the Gluten-Free for Life story link on our homepage yourhometownhealth.com.